guys next to us are certifiable heroes, and they're going to do something special tomorrow. The Michigan-Oregon State game at the Big House in Ann Arbor, the home opener for the U of M football team, going to be huge. It is going to be huge, but what they might not know is that fans will be getting to see a whole different kind of show at the stadium. That's because a special ops team will be actually parachuting into the Big House, adding so much drama, which I love. Look at that. Yeah. And with all the smoke going, everything going, and they came prepared today. Army Master Sergeant Kyle Mergolovsky and Commander Matt Choquette are here to tell us about what they've got planned for tomorrow's big game. And apparently you heard the, when you work with Karen Drew, you better bring a shoot. <laughs> yeah, so, just in case right. you want to leave the interview, yeah. you can just take off. Quick exit. No, no tough questions today. Okay, so you, how many games have you done in terms of jumping into a stadium like this? We typically do roughly about a dozen a year, really? uh, pro and collegiate level games. Uh, we represent the six to seven thousand men and women of the Special Operations Command, which since you know 14 years ago today have come what somewhat come to the forelight of American public's uh, knowledge. We conduct Special Operations conducts everything from nation building and humanitarian missions to direct action combat. So at any given time, approximately 10,000 of those six to seven thousand are deployed to over 100 countries 10, throughout 000. the world. Yeah, and and the two of you have done this. How many tours? Uh, I have four combat deployments. I'm a Navy uh, F-18 uh, backseater, so I okay. deploy off aircraft carriers and land really? uh, scary night traps and really I'm just protect the guys on the ground like, like Kyle. And, <laughs> and how many jumps have you made? I've made a little over 700. And my background is I'm from the 75th <clears throat> Ranger Regiment, and. Uh, deployed 10 times, which is pretty normal for folks within our community. So. I don't think people understand how many multiple right. deployments a military family has to go through. It is hard on them. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, and that's what we rely on, the support of the family, right. and yeah, it's the thing that keeps us going. Well, let's talk a little bit lightheartedness, yeah. because obviously when you're on a serious mission, obviously, you know, lives are at stake. But you get an opportunity to do something that's really fun on a Saturday afternoon in the fall. What's going through your mind? Do you think, do you, I mean, obviously it's still serious, but what are you guys thinking before you take that jump? And are you cheering for a certain team or what? <laughs> Well, of course, we're cheering for you know big blue machine. Big blue, that's right. Okay. So, that's right. Yeah, yeah we're definitely looking forward to jumping into the home opener. You know, Coach Harbaugh's first game. Mm. Uh, so, 110,000 people into the big house. So we're uh, we do everything you know on the mission, uh, military mission you know outline. We have certain parameters that everything has to stay within to protect the safety of the jumpers and the spectators. So once all those parameters are met and the conditions are are you know appropriate, we'll. Execute the jump and land at the 50-yard line. Is there that exactly. much difference? You'll be right on the 50-yard line. Right on the emblem. But we're so. talking precision jumping here when you have to land on the 50-yard line. Yeah. So is there that much difference between a tactical mission where you have to make a precision jump and something more lighthearted like this where you still have to make a precision jump? It's it's pretty similar. So that's what a good thing that the. At our headquarters here, we're not an operational headquarters, we're a support element mm -hmm. for the operational uh, components. So when people come here, this gives them a, an opportunity to hone their skills and to represent uh, you know, one of the insertion techniques that a special operator uh, learns during their career progression and keeps us you know, accountable to our bosses, the American right. taxpayers, and That's lets right. us inter intermingle with them. In terms of the rest of the, oh, go ahead. Well, tell me what the, you got some slots here on your, tell me what your, your uniform, uh, it's obviously modified to, to do what you do. What, you got some special yeah, stuff. Yeah, these are, are grippers, so whenever we do a formation, we exit an aircraft, our oh. bodies accelerate to roughly 120 miles an hour. So if we want to grab each other in free fall, it's just a little extra handle that someone can grab onto. No, it'd be you two, no one else, right? There's actually uh, three other teammates that are flying in today, okay. uh, and then they're going to meet up with us. And it's actually going to be three jumpers, uh, one ground crew, that's the drop zone safety observer, uh, observer. Okay. and then I will be on the ground as the narrator on the 50-yard line, firing up the crowd, getting oh, everybody sweet. excited. So, you know, stepping out onto the field and, and watching the plane fly overhead and, and the guys jumping out is going to be uh, really exciting. So you don't exciting. do like a practice one like on a, like today? We we practice back home in Tampa, uh, okay. but not you know we practice into Raymond James Stadium where the Bucks play. Uh, okay. But we've never practiced here. Yeah, it's at the, at nothing the big compared house. to the big. <laughs> house. No, this, is, uh, this is the real deal. We'll be uh, exiting with smoke brackets on our uh, our feet, so we'll have some blue really? and blue and yellow blue smoke. and maize maize. That's right. Exactly. Wow. Smoke coming from us, yeah. and uh, we'll have a like I said, an Armor Ranger, Navy SEAL, and a Navy Cyber Command officer. Do you coming. guys ever jump to the Army Navy game? And when you're doing a, I mean. Is there more than a little good-natured ribbing that goes on there? 
Because that's the big game in your branch, right? Yeah, it is, yes, They're sir. They're like, hmm, I don't we, know how we long haven't yet, but that's right. <laughs> We look forward to that opportunity. We haven't yet, but, you know, that would be He's nice if we could have that. very good with Yeah, the just hole. grab his handle and give him a little spin. <laughs> that's there. right. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. Seriously, so me. cool yeah, for you guys honor. to stop by. And there'll be good weather, too, for him tomorrow. It will, and you're really going to kick off the... Uh, Kick off oh, yeah. Are you guys nicely. like on Twitter? Can we follow you, like taking pictures Absolutely. before you yeah. go we, down? Uh, well, we have um, a Facebook account. Okay. Uh, you can just check it out. U.S. SOCOM Paracommandos. Okay. And then uh, our social media person will write that down right now. Paracommando then, the keyword. Yeah. And okay. Then, uh, www.socom.mil is our major website that okay. you can get so links to. You will do some pictures tomorrow. Because we'll follow you. Oh, Absolutely. Okay. Good, good, good. Yes. That'd be fun. I want to Thanks so them. much, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, by the way, and on this day of all days. Yeah. Thank you for your service. It's an honor. It's an honor.